The lady from Uncle. The lady. Hi, today I want to take a look at the Inactive Account Manager, what it is and what it can do for you. And I'm going to link this Help Center article about it in the video description below. I would ask that you read through it because it will give you some information that's quite important. The Inactive Account Manager is a plan that you set up based on your preferences and it tells Google what you wish to have happen with your Google account should it become inactive. How do Google determine what is the activity? Well, you could be signing into your YouTube channel and you'll be signing in with your Google account, therefore your Google account is active. You could be checking your Gmail using the Gmail app. That is Google account activity. Similarly, anything like an Android check-in um, would be classed as activity because your Android device is linked to your Google account and it would make your Google account active. The information that follows is probably um, not as helpful as it could be until you've actually understood and seen what an uh, inactive account manager looks like. And for that, I propose we actually go to my inactive account manager page for my own account. On my inactive account manager, you'll see that I have turned on the plan and I have turned on email reminders that the plan is on. And this is what that looks like. I also have the option to turn off my plan. Below that, I also have the option to set when Google should consider my Google account inactive. And in my case scenario, I've opted for 18 months of inactivity and Google will contact me three months before this period is up. So my Google account is supposed to only go inactive after one and a half years of inactivity and three months, that's a year and a quarter in, they will say, oops, your Google account has already been inactive for a year and a quarter. In three months time, we will deem this particular Google account to be inactive. I can set it to a lot shorter, but in my case, 18 months suits me. And then before they take any further action, they will contact me a multiple times by SMS and email. So they have my phone number to, to send SMSs to and they have both my main email address and my recovery email address to send emails to. So this is basically, we're about to make your Google account inactive. Do you wish to proceed? Otherwise sign in, do something so that we start the clock again from zero. Further down, I also have the option to choose who to notify and what information to share with them. So I have the option to add up to 10 people and they can also be given access to some of my data. Now, at this point, it's really important to understand that if you have chosen to give this, these people access to some of your data, that does not mean that they will get access to your Google account. So it is not a way of passing on ownership of a Google account or regaining access yourself. No, this is simply to some of the data. It can be a little bit disappointing to, to some people to understand that they will not actually be given the Google account. They will just be given some of the data on that Google account. Moving on, I can also set up an auto reply message for my Gmail because in my case, I do have Gmail. So when my Google account becomes inactive after 18 months, anybody then emailing that particular Gmail will be told, I am sorry that I cannot get back to you. I can edit my auto reply message and I can also delete it. And then finally, I have the option to decide if my inactive Google account should be deleted. So the first step is that the clock starts ticking. My Google account is inactive. I haven't checked my Gmails. I haven't, um, I haven't signed into YouTube. I am not using it on an Android device. There's no activity. And TikTok, TikTok, after 15 months, that is a year and a quarter, I will then be sent reminders. Oops, you know, your account has already been inactive. In three months, it's going to be deemed as inactive. And that would be stage two. So at the stage two, my contact, my emergency contacts, if you like, will be contact and say, this account has now been inactive for 18 months. You have access for three months 
to download any data that is pertinent to, to you and that you need, uh, etc, etc. And then three months later, that account will be fully deleted. And that is what I've opted for. So I can toggle that option on and off. But I have actually opted for stage three, that is after 21 months, the Google account will be fully deleted. So the final question is, why actually have the inactive account manager active? What is the benefit? Well, there may not be any benefit to you, but there will be to those in the event that you pass away. Because gaining access to a Google account after the owner has passed away is not possible. And gaining access to some of the data on that Google account is very difficult to achieve. And it actually requires a lot of legal documentation. So it could potentially avoid additional heartache for your next of kin. Thank you for listening and goodbye.